Hey there, welcome to Leg Design Academy. Last week we discussed how to use the tools of Photoshop. In today's video, I'll be explaining how to use the layers, how to use Photoshop layers, and how you can make use of them in your design. So let's get it. Okay, so basically, today's class is going to be about layers. We've talked about the menu bar and properties, everything along this upper region. Now, I've talked to, also talked about the tools. It's a very long journey, but we got there. So today we'll be talking about this section, this this, this hectic section. What what exactly? What what is what is the function of this section? How does it affect our designs? How does it affect our work? So let's start from colors. Okay. So basically. This is the color space you're working with red, green, and blue. Yeah, red, green, and blue. In the fundamentals of um, fundamentals of graphic design, I explained the difference between the reason we use red, green, and blue for screens and the reason we use CMYK for printing. So now, um, adjustment layers. Okay, yeah, this and this and a shortcut if you want to add an adjustment to your layer. Which I'll explain later, and this is this is basically what we'll be working with the layers. Yeah, these are channels, parts, but this is what we'll actually be working with. This is where you actually be focusing on throughout your design. Um, this is to set the um, kind of filter type you want to use, and the type of uh, blending mode you want to use for that layer, and the opacity for the layer. Opacity is like how transparent it is or how visible it is. The feel for the layer. You can actually lock the layer here. A lot of things you can do, you can mask the layer, you can add text, group, a lot of things you can do. And even down here, you can delete the layer, you can you can um um create a new layer with this, you can group layers together with this, you can add an adjustment layer with this, you can mask a layer with this, add a layer effect with this, link layers together with this, a lot of things you can do on this. Now what exactly are layers? So I will open a page now to show you exactly what layers are. So um, new. Uh, I like I, I just like this three thousand by three thousand pixels. Like do I work with it's something I, I really like? So let's just stay with that. That's for me. That's basically the um, mobile phone screen, like um, Instagram Square. So that works fine for me. Oh yeah, that's been working fine for me. So yeah, let's do that. So I will name these layers enter. Okay now, so this is our page. Now, if you notice, before we did this, before we did this, before we before we created a page, there there wasn't anything here. Right now there's a layer here. And this layer has a padlock on it. Meaning this layer is locked. Why is it locked? Because it's a, it is it is the background layer. The background layer remains locked, so you won't tamper with it. Because once you delete the background layer, be, if once you delete the background layer without any other thing on top, you have deleted the old design. So that's why it's locked, so you won't touch it. And every other thing you want to do will be done on top of it. Now this is the background layer. Although I can unlock it by clicking on the on the padlock. Now it's unlocked. Now you can see you can add anything to it. You, know, you can change the blend mode. You can reduce the opacity and increase the opacity. You see the difference you can increase it make it more visible or make it very very transparent so yeah then what else again can you do you can put a lot of filter on top but basically what you'll be needing what i want to actually show you is um let me try placing it in an image uh place embedded then place an image let's go to abcd and the yeah, assets let's just use here um okay let's share my picture place um so now this is this is one object I, I placed now I'm placing this object but it is not on the same layer as the background what happened now basically a layer is, is a layer is basically a container that holds an object a layer is, a, is basically a, a container that holds an object and separates it from every other object so it's basically like a section that or let's say it's a, it's a system that separates each each um, object into sections so the, the now the, the reason why why the reason we use layers using photoshop uses layers is because 
Photoshop is 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 programmed to to help you to prevent you from from mixing your objects together. For some reason, let's say I want to make changes to this layer, or let's say I want to make changes to the to this um to the background, the white one, and I don't want to tamper with the one on top. If they are on the same layer, it would have been harder for me to do that because right now this will be merged with this and i won't be able to touch what is under because of this so i'll need to tamper with this with with um the the shawarma layer before i can get to the background layer but right now that they are in two different layers and it means they are separated by the layers now i can put off the shawarma layer and actually do anything i want on this layer so that way i don't end up tampering with the shawarma layer once i'm done with this one I can put on my shawarma layer back without ever hurting or tampering with my shawarma layer. So basically, layers are supposed to separate and help you keep your work neat. That's why there are some, there are some, um, there are some designs I've done in the back in back in the days that have had close to fifty layers because I like to separate everything because you, the clients can be really, really annoying. The tiniest thing, the, what you don't expect, they will, they will change or add something to is what they will actually say you should change. And you do not want to merge things together and end up going back to recreate them again when you could have just separated them. If you separated them, you could have just removed that particular line away or removed that particular object or that particular circle away. But because you match the circle with the line and the square and everything, now you have to recreate everything again because they said they don't want the circle inside. So basically, Layers are going to help you to be able to make your work neater and faster, and you can recover them faster. Um, this right here, you can create a new layer here. So this will create an empty layer. If you notice how there is a shower in here, the background is there, but there's nothing here. So now I can do something else in this place. Let's say I create a rectangle, oh, sorry, a circle on this. Now, okay, there's a stroke there, but I'm going to give it a different color. So now this is this right now it's not tampering with the shawarma because it's on a different layer so now i created a new layer and i put a different object now the layer is, is the container that's holding the object now what's the next thing i can do okay now basically i can group together to group this i'll just click on the one i want click on um on i'll select on i'll select the the layer i want to um the layers that i want to to group together holding shift or oh, no holding shift the first one and the second and the last one then or oh, i use control i hold the first one and i use the second one i use control to hold to um, click on the second one that way i can manually click on as many layers as i want then i'll just click here which will group them for me now right now they are inside they are inside this group so then um but the shorter way to do that is basically is to hold them together and and um use the command keys control plus g it groups of them together control g exactly but you can actually create an initial group that is empty then you can now put anything inside the group but that's not for today so i'm going to press control alt z so i can go back to where i started from Okay, the one other thing you can do is you can mask. Sorry, for masking, you can actually add an adjustment layer. But beware, adjustment layers. Um, feel like adjustment layers can will affect every other thing under that layer. Let's say I create an adjustment layer of let's say, um, uh, let's say let's say let's say black and white. Now I put black and white on top of this layer but right now it's affecting everything under if i was to put it under this layer it would affect only everything under but whatever is on top of the layer will not be affected if you, if you notice and if i bring it down under here now it looks as if nothing is affected because it's only on the white background so anytime you are using adjustment layers you you need to use them on the particular set of layers that you want it to affect now the next thing is you can mask so let's say i want to mask this with this then i'll mask sorry i want to mask this then um i would click on it 
that is a mask here mask meaning to wear when you wear a mask it covers some particular areas so this is a mask this white is a mask if i want to cover some areas and re review some areas let's right now it's showing that everything here is white so i'll need a black brush let's say oh, you need a black brush in order to get a brush i'll change the color to black okay the size i'll increase it a little bit okay so now i would i would gently gently um stroke this and if you notice as i'm doing that it is erasing so it's not really erasing all i'm doing is just hiding it what i'm doing is actually hiding this is how they merge people's heads together with different uh, a let's say they merge barry's head with um p squares neck or stuff they just hide the the other parts and merges and merge it together with um a different thing so you can merge two objects together by masking them so this way it looks as if you have you know and let's say I, if i want to reveal the other part what i need to do is actually change the brush from black to white since I know now that black is going to hide, it means white is going to reveal. So I'm going to just click on it. Now I'm using white to brush it. Now it's revealing it back for me. That's basically what masking is. To hide the particular part of your object without tampering with the object. So um, this is to add effects. You can put blending options and you find a lot of options here. Embers, stroke, inner glow, outer, um, satin color overlay gradient pattern drop shadow there are a lot of things you can do in this place yeah then to link layers together you can put two layers together and link them together they'll be linked together so that's all you can do on this section and i already touched out to um, reduce opacity and all of that so that's basically all now there's something i want to talk about this particular section when you come to windows there are some there are some certain there are certain um features that are here that you will need on this place the tools are here but you also need something else here so um on your window if you don't find anything you're looking for let's say you want you don't your character let's say you are typing and you, you didn't find a place to edit your you could not find the 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 option to edit what you have typed once you come to the window you just click on character and it's going to appear here now this is a shortcut you can li literally change the font you can change the the font um you can change the type the typeface you can change the font you can change the size of the font the um different whatever it is you want to do with the font here so that's this is a, this is a place for shortcuts so you can actually come here and click on let's say brush so a brush a brush will pop up here so now this shortcuts for getting all those things will be here so this is a place you can find all of those things and all of them will line up on this line that basically is for this class so thank you and um, i hope you understood everything and i'll see you in the next one okay we made it to the end of today's class well done okay if you liked what you just finished watching or you learned something really impactful today please hit the subscribe button below to get more design classes See you in the next one.